This week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to use, show you how to use parameter actions to maintain a rank. So what we've got here is if I select accessories, I want it to maintain the rank 7 on my title over here to show me that accessories is rank number 7. And also to filter the top 10 of the manufacturers and top 10 of the products. So how do we do this? Now I've created a similar workbook here um, and I'm just going to show you how I did this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, parameter. Now it just needs to be a blank parameter and just call on it subcategory on our string and make sure it's set to all. Now if I show that it's not going to do anything at the minute because again we've not taught Tableau how to use it. But what we can do is if we go to Worksheet Actions, Add Action, and you want to change parameter. So now we're going to go from our data set to allow us to use it within our dashboard as well. And we're going to select the um, sheet that we're on. So it's just called Subcategory. And our target parameter is Subcat, and our field is Subcategory down here. Now I'm just going to label that so we know what it is doing in the future. So click OK and click OK again. So now when I hit copiers, you'll see that over my uh, right hand side that subcat parameter has changed to copiers. Now to add the colour in, again we just do a simple calculation which um, is called subcat selected. And all we need to do is we need to drag it, drag in subcategory and equals our subcat. This is going to give us a true false. So now when I um, put it onto color, you'll see that um, the parameter in the top right is binders. And again, if we click on tables, it'll update to tables. Now, how does this allow us to um, sort our rank out? So as you've noticed, I haven't got the rank down the side, so I'm just going to create that calculation. So rank sum of sales, and then we want descending. So it's going to go green, so we're going to change it to discrete. So now we have our rank here, and I'm just going to save it, drag it over, and that's just going to be rank subcategory. Okay, so also we want to make sure that we've set this to um, not that one, uh, set this to subcategory so it always maintains that rank. Um, because we also have our selected, um, our subcat selected on there, we also need to make sure that we have our subcat selection so it maintains that rank all the way through. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create that title. Um, so we're just going to add subcategory onto detail. And we're going to add that rank also onto detail and change it to discrete as well. So now you can see it's all ones, but what we want to do is we want to compute using subcategory. So as you can see, when I'm hovering over, so if I just make this a little bit easier to see, you can see all of our ranks are there and they're the same as our ranks on here. So tables is four tables is four. Now if I go and put my subcat selected onto filters and hit true, it's going to make that rank disappear, which is not what we want to do. So what we want is we want it to just maintain four. So if I put subcat selected in there, again we've got that issue of it um, diverting to subcat selected true as to rank one. So if we go on to here edit table calc and just make sure that we add that subcat selected in. Now instead of um, excluding falses, why don't we just hide them? So if I um, right click, um, so this isn't working because I have my parameter action set here. Um, so I'm just going to um, edit that action so that our rank is not selected by our table rank selection. Click OK. So now when I right click on false, I can click hide. So now you can see that we have our tables, we have our true, and we also maintain our rank here. So we can just add it into our title. 
um, and just make that bold again. Click OK. So now we have our tables number four. So again, with our products, all we need to do is add them into um, our um, products and then click OK. And we want to add them to context. And then we also want to do the same on our manufacturer. So again, hit true and always add to context so you can get your top 10 back. Now, when you go back to your dashboard, if I click on accessories, accessories is rank seven and we have our rank seven at the top. You can also achieve this with set actions as well to maintain your rank. That's all for this week.